few minutes. Denise? There is a troubling fact impacting children in Iowa. In several counties, some of the youngest people suffering with mental health issues are going untreated. State lawmakers voted to revamp Iowa's mental health program earlier this year, and a new committee is looking for ways to improve services. But still, there are several areas of the state where there are few resources, if any, for children. News 8's Ryan Jenkins shows us how a lack of resources has changed one Bettendorf mom's life forever. Local school counselors tell me that children in our area show signs of severe depression and anxiety as early as the third grade. And both experts and families in the area say that those mental illnesses that kill more than 100 Americans every day are taking a toll on our community. We felt completely blindsided. Christine Schmidt's daughter Morgan died from suicide at just 12 years old. I wasn't aware of any resources in the Quad Cities. She was one of the 20% of children in the United States that experts estimate will develop a mental health condition such as depression or anxiety. The biggest thing I hear was she was only 12. Yes, she was only 12. In Iowa, that 20% translates to about 150,000 children. And while that number might be shocking, there appears to be an even bigger issue. It's like at least a month out, sometimes three months out before they can actually get an appointment. And so it's really difficult for the kids to get in to see somebody. Iowa has a critical shortage of mental health treatment options. According to a 2017 report, there are only 55 child psychiatrists to oversee the care of the state's 750,000 children. 85 of Iowa's 99 counties, including Muscatine and Clinton counties, don't even have one child psychiatrist. Most of the help is located far away in Iowa City, Des Moines, and Cedar Rapids. Even in Scott County, there are only four child psychiatrists. Some people have had to travel hours, hours just to get someone to care for their child or just to even have that initial appointment. Governor Kim Reynolds has acknowledged the flaws in Iowa's children's mental health system, saying a lack of funding is making it hard to lay a foundation for a new system. Since 2011, lawmakers have created four separate committees to tackle the issue of mental health in the state. But still, children lack the resources that they need. Earlier this year, the governor appointed a committee hoping to bring forth promising changes for children. I feel uh, we've got, they've been talking about it for a long time and they've just not got anything done and they're um, tasked with reporting back to me by December, so hopefully that will be part of my program for the next legislative session. Meanwhile, the teen suicide prevention bill passed earlier this year has helped educators get the training they need to identify mental illness in Iowa's youth. The Bettendorf School District is adding counseling staff working with a growing number of kids who they say need their help. We have more and more resources, but it seems like the number just keeps getting bigger. What used to be maybe 5% now is more up to up closer to 20% of our kids who are, you know, at risk. An epidemic overwhelming the staff. I would say every one of us is overwhelmed every single day. When we leave, we think, I wish I could have gotten to that student. I wish I could have gotten to that student. And parents. And I have parents come to me almost daily um, saying, I know that my, my daughter's or son is suicidal. Every day and an issue that Christine knows all too well. So she was just charged on a Friday. Needs to be fixed fast. They gave her an appointment on Monday, but Morgan died on Sunday. Leaving loved ones frustrated and heartbroken. And they're not coming back no matter how much you want and beg and plead and wish that things were different. They are not coming back. Calling upon Iowa's leaders for change. I feel like we're giving it our very best, trying to help these kids, but we're asking for help. Well, one of the issues that leaders are going back and forth on surrounds allowing more public-private partnerships to open treatment facilities in our area. Just a few weeks ago, Governor Reynolds announced that the state of Iowa will receive federal funding to help provide resources that can be used to train educators and parents about mental health conditions. All right, thank you, Ryan. And the head of Vera French Community Mental Health Services in the Quad City says hospitals and outpatient facilities play a major role in stabilizing mentally ill patients in a safe way. But often they say that care is short term. They say it's long term care that's desperately needed in the Quad City area. With only